asking if, if this is his spot. And, I mean, you look at the numbers at Steve McNair, which we'll talk about in just Scary. a moment. It, it's mind-boggling. It's mind-boggling. Maybe that's what the commissioner was looking at, his statistics at All-Court <laughs> State. With the uh, third choice in the first round, the uh, Houston Oilers select quarterback from Alcorn State, Steve McNair. <laughs> The Washington Redskins are now on the clock. All right, they had the guts to pull the trigger. Steve McNair, 14,496 yards passing in four years. 2,300 yards running the football. Passing touchdowns and running touchdowns combined, 152 touchdowns. I don't care who he's playing against, Joe. That's unbelievable. You bring up the most important point, Chris. He's so talented, it doesn't matter from a competition standpoint. Watch him go back in the pocket. Good, quick release over the middle. People say, well, he can't work from under the center. You saw him do that. Now in the shotgun. Nice pocket presence. Steps up. Good release. The athletic ability he has is unbelievable. Why not scramble right and throw back across the field? Remind you of John Elway? Oh, just a little bit. Now he hangs in the pocket. Slides up. Great athletic ability. He pulls a hamstring on this play, but he stays in. And that's another thing about him. He's tough. He played the next week. Now he just waits, waits in the pocket, gives the old, I'm going right, no, I'm going left. Now I throw like Warren Moon for a touchdown. Back in the pocket again. This is the only thing that's a little scary, is the fact that he can just throw wherever he wants. He throws it a little bit late down the field. Watch the receiver have to wait for the ball. He's going to have to work on his anticipation a little bit. But in, in my mind, that is the only thing that I think Steve McNair needs to really concentrate on. He may be raw around the edges, but diamonds are as well before they become very valuable stones.